Hey, it's Danny Wood here. My place is a mess. I'm just setting up to do a little shoot for you guys to show you how you can leverage Google to specifically target people as they're about to make a purchase. So if they're going to make a move, if they're going to buy a home, if you want to sell them shoes, sneakers, cars, whatever it is, I want to show you how to leverage the banner network and specifically when people are in the market for that product and service. All right, let's go. Google knows who's about to buy a home, purchasing a used car, and if that person's getting a new iWatch. Did you know that we as advertisers can actually target those people as they enter the market just before they buy that product or service? That's what I'm gonna show you today. Take real estate, for example. Moving soon and purchasing a home soon are both options that we can now target. This works for most industries and products, whether you're selling shoes or selling insurance. But I wanna stick with real estate to tell a better story. It's called in-market advertising. And I want to cover that, Google banner ads, and the placement hacks you should know about when considering the Google network. What's cool is that Google can reach millions of websites. And what's not cool is this could mean you waste millions of dollars. So in this video, we'll discover my secrets that narrow it down to just $5 a day budget. By default, Google targets the entire country and all ages. That is so crazy. So I'm going to pretend I'm a local real estate agent and I'm going to zoom in to just the city I pretend work in. I'll pick the city of Detroit, the dirty D. Google estimates 470 million impressions per week in Detroit alone. Now, unless you got a government bailout and are one of those automotive companies, I bet you don't have the budget to target all of that. Let's look at the ways we can trim the fat. The in-market filter is one way. Basically, Google has already curated a list of consumers based on what they search, read, watch, and do. It's not just based on search, it's not just based on demographics. This combination of demographic marketing plus behavior triggers is what gives Google a major advantage versus other platforms. It also gives you that right time, right place we're looking for when spending money online. Picking the in-market real estate section is still too broad in my opinion because that only brings the numbers down to 37 million from 470, which is still good, but we can go deeper, much deeper. Residential properties is a submarket of the real estate category, and this gets us down to 22 million. But let's go even deeper, because we don't want those rental leads if that's not something we can serve. So I'll check off residential properties for sale, and now we're at 16 million. That's good, and most people would agree this is a perfectly logical audience for us to go after, but look at this. If we scroll down even further to life events, I can see who's moving soon and purchasing a home soon. If I take that criteria and combine it with the age most people likely to be moving in the city I work, I'm now hovering around 12 million potential impressions per week. By using this filter and a budget of $5 a day, it's estimated that we'll get between 200 and 400,000 impressions of pure targeted gold. Now I'm not saying this is a magic bullet, but I do know if you were spending money online, this approach makes way more sense versus what most of you are doing. Okay, those are great examples of the in-market option, but we can also target specific keywords. This is method number two. You can basically target your ads to the keywords of your choosing. This allows you to get really specific and really creative. Let me show you. The problem is most people get too broad, such as the word real estate. That's not a good idea. So I'll get super creative and I'll target the names of the top brokerages in town and the common real estate franchises that we all know about. At least this way I know the brokerage information will be attached to the listings. Therefore, my ads are only triggering when people are looking at homes for sale. And that's a good thing. Now it's not 100%, but it's a pretty creative way to get specific. I could also target industry specific terms like Zillow, Purple Bricks, Realtor, etc. And so long as the person is in my city looking at a page with a short list of my terms, I know my ads will appear. The call to action would say something like homes for sale in Detroit. Isn't this cool, eh? I've got one last super secret ninja trick to show you. This is method number three. Google has an option called placement. Hey, it's Danny here. I'm going to hop on my phone really quick and I'm going to show you. This is just a local classified website that happens to be popular in the area that I'm currently at. And so consider this. See the advertising on here? If I scroll down, we might see an ad. There, Domino's Pizza. Up at the top right corner, you see the little triangle with the X. This proves to me that this is a Google network ad. 
So we want to get our ads on this website because if we were to call Kijiji directly and say, hey, can we advertise on you? They are going to want a ton of money. So instead of that, what we're going to do is we're going to get really specific. Because I want to keep with the real estate example, I want to click on the real estate tab of this website. And obviously I'm going for sale, so I'm going to click on for sale. And then right up at the top, I can just copy this URL and then be specific with my banner ads and say we only want to run our ads on this page or within this category. So now instead of me targeting all over Kijiji, I'm just targeting in the real estate section of the local area that we're at. And so if I scroll down at the very bottom, you can see it says bad credit card loans shop now. Um, if these guys were smarter or if they had my services, then what we could do is just channel all these ads directly within the car section of um, Kijiji itself. So if I scroll down, keep on going down, so there's another bad car loan one, need credit, apparently a lot of people need credit, and here's Domino's again. Well, if I was actually running ads for myself or a client, we could be specific and it would be your ads right there, all about selling a home, right within the top of Kijiji itself. So we can take that same approach to all of the local newspapers. Let's just say, for example, I'm in Burnaby. I would go to whatever the local newspapers are in that city, and then I would try and navigate to through their menu and find the real estate section. So here I'll click on real estate and it will reload. And then what's gonna happen is it's just all the articles and news about real estate in that city. And if I scroll, keep scrolling, there's an ad right there for a master planned community. Well, I could be specific by going to the top of this page, grabbing the URL, and now we're advertising on the newspaper's website. Uh, and we're going right through directly through Google. And I mean, it's like pennies, super, super, super cheap. So it's a really strategic way for you to do this. I mean, this works with most websites. Even if you look at bestbuy.com or bestbuy.ca or a lot of the e-commerce websites, they even have the Google Display Network on their websites. And so you can target people in so many creative ways because you're only targeting the people who are at a computer in your city who are on these specific websites and you can even tell what page that the people are on. And boom, just like that kids, we have the power of the internet working for us. Take a screenshot because these are the sizes you'll need to make. Don't have the time and want me to do it for you? Screenshot this and message me anytime. I wanna thank you, I hope these ideas inspired a spark within and maybe now you can see possibilities that didn't exist before we met. Be sure to like, share, follow, whatever. Send a carrier pigeon, I'm here for you.